Okay, so let's see which version of Node they give us by default. Node is the software that we're going to be using to write our code uh, here in the latter portion of the course. So let's check that with Node-V. This will check the version of Node. And it gives us version 6.12.3. So that's pretty good. Uh, version 6 is stable. If you wanted, you could upgrade to version 8. Uh, if you type MVM LS, then you can see that they have uh, version 6 installed and they've made it their default. If you wanted, you could do like MVM install node, I believe it is. Let's see what happens. So this is actually version 9. I didn't realize version 9 was out. But now if we check node-v, we can see that we've changed from version 6.12.3 to version 9.4.0 which is the latest version of Node. So if you do an MVM LS, you can see which version you have selected. So the default is still 6, and then stable and node stable is on uh, 9. I think if you want to default to 9, you would have to do MVM default alias 9. Don't quote me on this. Let's see if it works. Okay, so it doesn't work. Let's look through here for the command real quick. So we'll do MVM alias default 9 uh, and let's get the exact version 9 point is it 4.0 so 9.4.0 and now if we do an MVM LS we can see that the default is 9.4.0 so we won't have to keep resetting it if we want to use the newest version of node okay so now if we do node V we're still set to version 9 which is good again version 6 is fine if you don't want to mess with it that's okay uh, nothing that we're doing in this course requires you to use version 9. So that was just kind of an extra little thing. Let's go ahead and check on MongoDB and see if it's installed. If it's not, let's go ahead and install it and make sure that we have the newest version. Okay, so in order to check MongoDB, and let me go ahead and make this a little bit bigger if I can. Okay, hopefully that's a little more helpful. Sorry, I didn't do that before. So let's check Mongo dash dash version and it says mongo command not found okay good so that means that we don't have to clear anything out we can install a fresh version of mongodb so back in my instructions if we scroll down 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 uh, i'm checking node and npm that's fine uh, there's a section here for mongodb instructions then you can copy this command here touch mongodb-org-3.6.repo uh, we'll go ahead and put that in. So that creates a file here. I'll double click it. It's empty. So we're going to paste some stuff in there. So I'll copy everything from beneath the second bullet point here. From there to here inside of this little code snippet. We'll paste it in and save the file. And then we're going to copy this line. And what this line is doing is moving that file. You'll see it just disappeared uh, back into a directory called forward slash, etc., which is a parent of a parent of a parent directory of where we are right now. So you won't be able to see it right here. So now that that's been moved, we can run the yum install mongodb org command and let that run. Okay, so that was pretty quick. If we do a mongo dash dash version, we can see it has 3.6.2, which is the latest version of MongoDB. Right now we're inside of environment. If you type CD and hit enter, it'll take you back one directory. And this is called the root directory. It's signified with a tilde. This is where we normally would create the commands that would allow us to run the Mongo daemon. Uh, with some specific flags set to it. And that's what Colt's going to do in the videos for the original version of C9. So I'm going to go to the instructions for the original version of C9 and I'm going to pull some things from it. So the first thing that they say to do is to make a directory called data. So I'll go back to AWS Cloud9 and inside of the root directory I'm going to type mkdir data. Okay, so now if I ls you can see we have our environment that's this folder and then we have data so data is where we're going to store all of our databases so the next thing we need if we go back to the instructions 
is this command right here. However, there are some things in this command that we don't need. All we really need is the mongod, the db path equals data, and the node journal. So I'm going to copy this. I'm going to go back here, and I'm going to say echo, and then uh, quotations, mongod, and then I'm going to paste this in. So db path is equal to data, which is this data folder right here, and then node journal. So we're not going to be using journal files, which is fine. Uh, it's going to save space, and we have a limited amount of space with our environment. So we definitely want to save space where we can. So I'm going to go ahead and close the quotation, do a greater than sign, and then type mongod. So it's going to echo all of this text into a mongod file. And now if we type ls, we can see mongod right here. If we use a cat command, so cat mongod, we can see the inside of that file has the mongod command with what are called flags and the flags are set here for dbpath and no journal. Okay, well, we can't run the dot forward slash mongod command yet because it will throw an error. So we go back here and they've got a command here, chmod a plus x mongod. And all this is going to do is give uh, permissions to the current user that's logged in to be able to run this file um, without using pseudo privileges. So I'm going to paste it in. And now if I type ls, you can see it's changed. Now it's bolded. And so if I do a dot forward slash, which just means start in the current directory that we're in and look for a file called mongod, now it's going to run this specific file. Whereas if we were just to type in mongod, then it would actually run the mongod command, which we don't want to do because the mongod command by itself doesn't have any of these flags. So instead of having to type the flags every single time, we put them inside this file, we change the permissions for the file, and now we just type cd to get back into the uh, tilde or root directory from wherever we are. And then once we're in here, which we're already in here, we can do dot forward slash mongod. Now you can see that it started and it says waiting for connections on port 27017. So now that it started, if you were to open another terminal and then enter in the mongo shell, so we can show DBs, and you can create a database, uh, you can mess around in the databases, etc. Okay, so we'll go ahead and exit out of that, and close this, close. Over here, this is left running, so whenever we're done working, we can do a control C to close out of it, and so that will shut it down. Okay, so this file is the file that we moved earlier. We can go ahead and close it. It's gonna ask us if we want to save it uh, or keep it open we'll go ahead and close it and this readme file right here uh, just has some information about AWS Cloud9 you can keep it if you want it's got a link to the docs otherwise you can go ahead and right click and delete so now if I clear this out and the command to clear that out is control L I think on PC or command K on Mac uh, or I think you can even just type clear and hit enter so to see all the versions of everything that we have going on we do a node-v we're using version 9.4 if you're using a version of 6 onward then you should be good to go and then we do mongo dash dash version and we get 3.6.2 which is the latest version as of the recording of this video okay so if you have this set up and you ls and you have that mongo d in here and the data and you're able to run dot forward slash mongo d to get this running and control C to exit, then you are all set up and you're ready to go with the rest of the lectures for the remainder of the course. All right, thanks everyone.